Hey guys, thank you for stopping by and watching this video. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. The reason why I am holding a glass of wine and drinking some wine is because I am so reminiscing back to last weekend when I attended for the very first time the Pebble Beach Food and Wine. Let's get down to the nitty gritty and let me show you my rendezvous at this year's Pebble Beach Food and Wine. So let's start with day one. Before I start off with day one, let me give you an explanation, tell you what Pebble Beach Food and Wine is all about. Pebble Beach Food and Wine is a renowned food and wine festival attracting respected and talented chefs from around the world, presented by Food and Wine and Lexus. It features three nights and four days of culinary and wine tasting, cooking demos, and exclusive dining experiences. Pebble Beach is a proud supporter to the Berkeley Foundation, a nonprofit humanitarian arm of coastal luxury management, which raises funds and distributes grants to local and regional organizations such as the Boys and Girls Club, Mentor, Monterey Wine Education Foundation, Pebble Beach Company Foundation, and Voice for Children. The first event that I attended was hosted by Fabio Viviani, and this was the Barbecue and Sizzle. And to explain a little bit more about this event, Let's hear it from Fabio Viviani himself. We're at the Pebble Beach Food and Wine, and I know this is, you've been here before. But... Seven year, I kick it off when they start, I... first year. So this is an event that I haven't heard before. Can you describe it a little bit more for our viewers? Yeah, sizzle and smoke. It's pretty much a grilling, barbecuing, <laughs> sizzling event on the beach. That's not a beach, on the pier. By the shore. By the shore, <laughs> see? See, that's the shore, look at that. And uh, I am cooking braised osobuco with black truffle grilled cheese sandwich. So we get osobuco and black truffle in a grilled cheese sandwich. Yeah. You're welcome. You can't get any better than a You're grilled welcome. cheese sandwich. Now, I am kind of new to barbecuing, and for my viewers out there, they're mostly uh, viewers that are not much of cooks that are barely getting into getting familiar. What do you recommend? What's your tips for people who are just starting to generally cook? Cook something. I don't care what it is. I don't care if it doesn't taste good. Just do. Because remember, anyone that cook something will always be a better cook than someone that doesn't cook anything. See? Beautiful. Like like you say you're cooking. Molto bello. Molto bello. <laughs> Enjoy. Right. The next stop was After Hours Party at the Spanish Inn. This event was sponsored by Stella Artois, Young Market Company and Driscoll's. Unfortunately, no tickets are available for purchase. It's an invitation only event. This party is an event where a select group of celebrity chefs, winemakers, and sommeliers dance the night away. Day two of Pebble Beach Food and Wine events. This is the grand tasting. This event goes on today and tomorrow and I am excited. I have my brother helping me back here so he's gonna be my second hand camera and I could smell the food already so I'm pretty excited to just go in there and try some food. So let's go. Let's get this room.
up to that winery and have a taste of this specific wine. Now, not only is this a glittery and beautiful bottle, but the story behind it and what they aim to do is even more amazing. Their motto, indulge, do good, why not? One Hope is a social enterprise that integrates causes into products and services to make social impact. Each bottle makes an impact by giving half of their profits to partner causes. Their goal is to make the world a better place. One Hope helps end hunger, save the planet, provide clean water, help children with autism, and help preemie babies. Those are just a few ways One Hope helps make this world a better place. I implore you guys to check out their website, learn a little bit more about them and what other causes they help, and also purchase this sparkly glitter bottle or any of their other products. This dish is a good example of ache because it, it has a Spanish root, there's ajo blanco. Yeah. But then from there, it's California trout, avocados, which you would never see in Spain. Yeah. And just something like white and bright that uh, I think 
works well with the, the flavor of almond. Uh, okay. And then, of course, like wanting to highlight the short season of the green almonds. Yeah. So it's like seasonal California meets a traditional recipe of Spain that makes it like hot chip. Perfect. <laughs> was a true compliment to our oil. Um, so we found a small grower producer out of Mogna, Italy. Yeah. Um, it's 100% organic, which that was um, that was a big, uh, it was hard to find an organic um, balsamic producer. Um, so we did find them, and we have our three flavors. Um, this is a apple, a traditional, and then a fig. And there's no sugar, no added caramel coloring. It's all natural. I am signing off from the grand tasting uh, day two of the Pebble Beach Food and Wine. So I guess I'll see you guys tomorrow for the last final grand tasting here behind me under that tent. See you guys tomorrow.
this is day three last day of the pebble beach food and wine and i'm going to the grand tasting today and this is the second day i am going to this event and today once again i'm taking the beautiful luxury car lexus and i want to thank lexus for the vip complimentary valet that's just right in front of the grand tasting you could just drop off your car there and enjoy the um the event and then after that all you need to do is wait and <laughs> wait for the valet to bring up your car and that's it so thank you so much lexus for sponsoring um of course sponsoring this event but also giving alexis owners a complimentary um valet parking i'm at the grand tasting the alexis grand tasting and i'm gonna go ahead and grab my glass of wine thank you all right so there's gonna be new um chefs today such as one of my favorites fabio Vivani, which i won't stop him today but um there's gonna be more celebrities and of course more wine you can't get any better than this event here with so many wines so time for me to feel a run. In Monterey, our, our goal is how do we, how does our winemaking reflect what's awesome about yeah. growing region? Like what are the characteristics in each of our varietals that makes, yeah. makes Monterey stand out? The Estate Chardonnay. It's a, a really classic. Uh, 
profile of like spice and earthiness of floral quality. This right here is toasted Inca nuts on the bottom, then Oaxacan mole with pork cheeks, pickled cauliflower. How are you? Good, how are you? Cheesehead yeah. cheese and yeah. crystallized habanero. Wanted to use it as an ingredient. I'll tell you about it. It's all yeah. chocolate. Hey. She invented chocolate. It's true. My baby, my baby invented chocolate. you got a glimpse of the Pebble Beach Food and Wine, I hope you are considering attending this event next April. I hope to see you guys there. If you would like more information, you can go to pbfw.com. Of course, like always, subscribe, like this video, and let's keep in contact with each other through my social media networks. Now, I will see you guys next time with another maybe vlog or a recipe. Until next time, bye!